It was not too long ago that, upon looking at my press gaining scores, I realized that I wasn't doing as well as I thought I was doing. And that's when I called upon the help of my colleague Robin, our nurse practitioner, to see what her thoughts were. We are great colleagues and we have the same end goal of providing the best possible care for our patients. It's very overwhelming to hear that you have a brain tumor or you need brain surgery. So taking the time, allowing the patients to ask the questions that they have, to engage them with the body language that says, I have time for you, and to summarize everything before you walk out of the room will all be very important. What I soon realized is that this effective communication that I wanted to have with the patients was just not a function of me feeling or thinking that I'm doing a good job. There's actually there were actually skills that I needed to do, skills that I needed to, to implement. For instance, uh, one thing that was critical was to take the time to convey that body language that the patient would see, meaning that I was in the moment, that I was there and that there was nothing else more important. Uh, and this is about not walking away as you're talking to the patient. It's not about asking last minute questions as you're opening the door. The second thing that I learned was that it's important to summarize what just took place. Uh, many of these things that we talk about, although self-evident to us, it's a lot to lay on these patients. And one needs to allow time for them to digest this a little bit and then help them do so by summarizing the encounter. And finally, when one asks the question, do you have any other questions? It's important to still be in the moment. That should not be something that one asks as one is opening the door and leaving the room. As a result, I think my patients feel that I'm more attentive and that they're being heard.